Welcome back. This Mental Health Awareness Month, a North Country organization has resources for Alzheimer's caregivers who might be dealing with a lot of stress. Joining us now is Megan Monica from the Alzheimer's Disease Caregiver Support Initiative. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So first, what kinds of stressors would Alzheimer's caregivers encounter most frequently as they're doing their job? Um, I think it's a mix of stress and anxiety that just comes with now you're fully responsible for caring for this other person, their medical appointments, meeting their needs, all while trying to meet your own needs, such as maybe you're a full-time working caregiver um, who has you know their own job to complete and your own medical appointments to see to, and sometimes those things start to take a back burner um, depending on the level of need and care that the care receiver is needing from the caregiver. And what kinds of tips then do you have for caregivers who might be finding themselves dealing with those stressors? Um, I say join our caregiver support initiative um, because we offer free supports and services throughout Clinton, Essex, Franklin, Hamilton, Warren, and Washington counties. Um, they're completely free of charge. We do not have a wait list. Um, and we offer things such as respite, Project Lifesaver, music and memory, which can help with um, the care receiver's mood and agitation. We also offer an abundance of wellness programs such as Tai Chi, pickleball. We have a breakfast club, a lunch bunch, um, just as a way for caregivers to connect with other caregivers who are kind of going through the same journeys that they are. And does that help caregivers not feel quite so isolated perhaps throughout this process? Oh, I definitely think so. They have a way to connect with others, share their stories. We even are offering support groups um, and, you know, caregivers exchange phone numbers with other caregivers. So it just kind of widens their circle of support and who they have to reach out to in those moments of frustration, feeling alone, um, you know, the hard days. Are you seeing more people take advantage of this um, as our region's population ages? We are. Um, you know, we are an under-resourced area here, um, and we are offering these free services to help maximize the health and wellness of our caregivers. Um, and I can tell you that 399 caregivers participated in 48 unique wellness events that we offered this year. And we will have more information on our website so people can find that easily. Megan, Monica, thank you so much for the time. Thank you.